We got a 2013 Cadillac ATS Smart Key and it does got a Bose system right here. I am going to install an amplifier. Remember the battery is right there on the left hand side right there. You're going to have to take all these off. I mean you literally have to pop it out right there. This screw customer uh, took that out already for me. So pull that out. Put it down. And the amplifier is I think it's right clip out. The clip's got a this pin uh, this if you take a flat head like where's my camera at? right there, pop that out first, and then you can take this whole thing out later. That's how you do it. Pop it piece by piece. There's a knob right here, just turn it and then kind of pull it. hard to do one hand right there you just turn it, it what it that's what it looked like right there so it's this piece right there when you turn on the right spot like uh like that where's that at? right there and it should pop out oh everything's right there the fuse and everything right there so i should be able to find the uh <coughs> uh remote wire a lot of time uh, it's better to do on a Cadillac it's better to do he bought this high low converter right here already I think he pays wow he pays $79 for this but the good part about this part this product is it's got a built-in uh, remote wire other way yeah it's got a built-in remote subwoofer uh, level control wire I'm gonna have to run that to the front uh, made by Skosh uh, it's LOC 2 SL it already got its uh, own remote wire it's a good part but sometime on the Cadillac you might have another issue it have a buzzing noise when you close the whole door all the door it go buzzing noise for like really loud for a couple seconds so I'm gonna install it anyway We'll see, we'll see what happened. The yellow will go to the 12 volt, the ground, and the rest of them are speaker wire. And then this part right there is a remote wire. And then this uh, base knob controller, you run it to the front. So I'm gonna run this to the front. First of all, I'm gonna try to figure it out right there since I pulled this out already. I'm gonna try to figure out which fuse will turn on when the key is on. And here is the 12 volt right there. The positive side let me see if it's got any yep it's got a 10 millimeter right there for the battery power I'll run that through right there and then the ground's already right here depending on where you're gonna put the amp at we'll have to see uh, you can use that ground it's a good ground guys the black the, the black the amplifier is uh, on the right side of the trunk you want to go to the black right here, the black plug. You want to hook up the blue, gray, and then the green, black. Blue, gray is positive, and then green, black is negative. To the speaker wire, so you can run it to the amp to run the uh, high-low converter. It might be easier if you wanna if you wanna go uh, take it out. Just push this button right there, and then pull it straight out, and then kind of uh, cut the black tape right here out and then you'll be able to get it to it easier here as you can see uh, I got the red wire which is a positive speaker wire go to the blue and gray and then the black and red go to the green and black that's for the negative and then I'm gonna plug it right back in to the amp to the power right here and I'm gonna run a 4 gauge to the power right there that's a 10 millimeter right there you can see 10 millimeter you take that out I usually don't uh, cut this thing out right here to make like a fork like or spade like so you can just push it in so you can just easily take it out too if you need it out and then I cut this part right there take a knife and and chop it like a, 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 a cross and then you just push the wire in 
Now on this part, if you want to go around the ground, uh, you can have a little bit longer. Usually you should have less than a foot and a half, but since I'm running from the battery itself, it is fine. I'm going to take a 10 millimeter right there and loosen the screw. I can start on this side or this side, but I'm going to, uh, let me see what side better. That's tight in the battery, so I'm going to use it right here. Uh, loosen it up a little bit and then put the ground in there. Right, well, you know the red wire that I ran from the amplifier going down here and I put it to the uh, white and gray and then a uh, white, black and gray, black I hook it up to the uh, uh, red and black for the negative side and then on this part, uh, this uh, scotch you got the blue wire for the remote and then of course you got the power that I ran from there I hook it up to the fuse right there and then the ground I make it a little bit longer than usual but it should be okay because you got only one speaker and then the reason I'm doing like this because I'm gonna put the amp up here right here I don't want to put it in a box because it's only a single box and then now all we have to do is put the speaker in it, this is a mono block so you can put on any any one of them as long as you got one positive in here one negative here, it doesn't matter where, as long as positive negative. So, that's it. Real Life Topics. Battle is created by language experts who use the space repetition method to help you learn quickly and remember what you learned. With Babbel, you can speak a new language. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L. I want to make sure everyone understand about the high-low converter. With the high-low converter that this product's got, you got the blue and white right here. You want to hook up to the remote and you got the black wire from this side right here. You want to hook it up to the ground. And then you got the yellow, you want to put it to 12 volt. And the rest are easy and you just plug the, uh, this one's got the uh, base knob right there. Plug it on the bottom right here. Kind of hard to see. And then you got the RCA jack to the, plug it here and put the input to the amp over there. And then other than that, this thing sounds really good for, uh, well that's a JX1000.1, that's a good good amp. And pushing the one tie in there. Don't want to turn up too loud. And now he's going to put that uh, 